I'm Ward Blackwell. Welcome to Front Street 411. Well, tomorrow's Labor Day. So I donned the old seersucker one last time. Now I know not everyone follows that rule about not wearing white after Labor Day, but I'm always very careful to follow the rules of fashion. Uh, okay, well, not so much at Mardi Gras. Yeah, and I love my ugly Christmas sweater too. But at least you won't catch me wearing sequins during the day. Anyway, since we're talking about rules, I want to remind you that PDA's website features a lot of quick tips to help you comply with rules relating to dentistry. Recently, a few members have contacted PDA regarding the use of cone beam computed tomography or CBCT machines and the additional regulations and protocols that having one of these units entails. Now, even though it's been quite a while since the regulations for CBCT machines were last updated, there's a pretty good chance DEP still hasn't inspected your office since those rules were finalized. So, in the next few days, guidance like this will be added to our quick tips so no one is caught off guard. Now, while it may not be this week, something else coming soon is a save the day announcement from PDA's 2024 Family Vacation CE Conference. Now, after the venue got rave reviews this year, we'll be heading back to the Hyatt Chesapeake Bay Resort in Maryland. It really is an absolutely gorgeous place, offering activities to suit every taste, multiple dining options, and unbelievably low rates for conference attendees. You do not want to miss out on this chance to have a great time while getting a little CE that, you know, it might allow you to write off a portion of your trip. So mark your calendar now. Uh, continue with events just days away, the PDA's delegation to the ADA House of Delegates is meeting this Saturday in Harrisburg. Since Pennsylvania is the third ADA trustee district, this meeting of the third district caucus is when our delegation reviews and discusses resolutions that will be considered by the ADA House of Delegates when it meets next month in Orlando. Now, if there's an issue of concern to you in those resolutions, you should definitely share that concern with one of the delegates in your area. Some of the more interesting resolutions this year include proposals to study, offering both individual and practice-based dues categories, um, add a statement to existing policy about RVUs, and to revise a policy on licensure to remove mention of live patient exams while adding support for the multi-state licensure compact. There's also a resolution establishing a comprehensive Medicaid policy statement that will replace multiple existing policy statements about dental Medicaid. That one is rather complex, so I would urge you to read it carefully for yourself. At, right now, all the uh, 2023 resolutions are accessible by members on the ADA website. Another thing I should mention is that there will be a brief PDA board meeting in conjunction with the caucus meeting. And given the recent crises in Hawaii and Florida, I fully expect there to be discussion about providing assistance to fellow dentists in the affected areas. You know, it's times like these when members are always able to look to their association in their hour of need that I am most proud to be a part of the ADA and PDA family. So, until next time, have a great Labor Day weekend. Stay safe, everyone.